Hello, my beautiful beauties and my wonderful lovelies. A pleasant afternoon to everyone. You know, it's somewhere, I think it is in the book of Genesis, where we all know that um, there's no sin that really goes unpunished. And whatever seed you sow, you end up reaping. Remember Rebecca, she had preferred um, Jacob over Esau. And uh, they kind of tricked, duped her husband, their father, into giving the second child, which is Jacob, the birthright that really belonged to Esau. All right, so they fast forward, you know, Esau went his way, Jacob went his way. And on the very night um, in which he would now consummate his marriage, the vow that he made before God to his wife, Rachel, I don't want to mix up the names, so sometimes, um, you know, yes, it is Rachel. Um, in terms of Rebecca versus Rachel, that's what I mean. When he removed the veil, basically, it was Leah who was there. And the Bible talked about Leah's eyes not being, you know, bold and bright. It was sort of weak, not attractive eyes, basically. And, you know, he was, I guess, infuriated and very disturbed and went to live on his uncle, asking him, why did he do that? Why, was it, why did he trick him and give him Leah? And he said, well, in his custom, they have to marry the first daughter before the others would get married. And if he wanted Rachel, if he really loved Rachel, he would have to wait another seven years. So 14 years in total, he really waited to get the love of his life. So he had to wait another seven years before he got Rachel. But that level of trickery and being duped, at Jamaica, we say generalship, didn't stop because Laban was tricking his own nephew in terms of the whole lambs and all of that. Like he was taking the best lambs and, you know, earning from it and all of that. But, you know, one of the beautiful things is that even though Jacob was paying the consequences of his own actions that his mother really birthed and started, that God said because of Jacob, Laban was blessed. God still blessed Jacob amidst the trickery, amidst being duped, amidst being ginnelled, as we would say here in Jamaica. God blessed him. So I want to encourage you. Um, once the hand of God is upon you, it doesn't matter where you go. Once the hand of God is upon you, because of you, others will be blessed. They will be blessed socioeconomically. They will be blessed spiritually. They will be blessed mentally, physically, psychologically. You know, in many, many ways, they will be blessed. So because of God and he has allowed you to be a blessing to others. Follow me on TikTok. Subscribe to my